for Who's One Heartbeat here. Um, I'm new to, well, my channel's new to YouTube, I'm not. Um, so I decided for my first video that I would do a type of introduction, I guess, and a review on my Treadstone Tuscany Field Boots that I use for schooling. Um, so yeah, I'll start with the introduction. Okay, so my channel will be all about horses, really. Um, I'll have clips of me riding, I'll do tack hauls, I will, okay, my hair's not, I'll do reviews for you, I can answer questions, I can give riding advice, I've been riding since I was about four years old, which is a long time, I am now in grade 10, and so, yeah, that's mostly it. I don't know what else to say for a introduction. I'm blanking on words here, sorry. This is about the fifth time I've tried to videotape this and my camera keeps running out of memory. That's awesome. Yeah, so now I will get into the review. Okay, so I got these boots about a year ago and I absolutely adore them. I only use these ones for schooling because I have a different pair of more expensive show boots. These were about 300 and, no, 300 to 400 dollars, somewhere there. I think closer to 400. Um, that might be cheap to some people and expensive to others. I find them on the cheaper side of tall boots. And so yeah, these are full leather, Italian cut, nice boot. They look like that on the inside, just a brown leather. They have a little bit of stretch there. On the back, zippers. There is elastic, which I find so nice because it gives them more of a custom feel and it makes them feel really secure. And I got these in a eight and a half tall because I'm a little over average for height, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so they have the laces, but like I said, they are zippers, so you don't have to have those pain in the butt boots that you have to lace up every time. I had a pair of those, and you only make that mistake once. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what else I can really say about these. I really, 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 really recommend these. I said really like four times there. I just love this boot and I think it's great for schooling. You could use them for shows, I mean, go for it. I just have more, I don't know, I have better boots and, oh by the way, I show hunters, so that, yeah, okay. So yeah, I just got, yeah, my paddock boots got small, so I just decided to get another pair of tall boots. I actually have a pair of paddock boots on order right now. And I will do a tack haul as soon as that package gets here, but it's been a week already, so they should be here by Friday. There's a green spot on my camera. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, yeah, so I'm... Okay, what I use to clean these... Well, actually, after I ride, every time after I ride in these, I wipe all the dust off with just a damp, a slightly damp cloth. Because that keeps them looking new and gives them less wear and tear I guess you could say and then about once a month I use mink oil paste on them I got this when I got my boots so about a year ago and it's lasted a long 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 time it's six ounces which is pretty small compared to the size of my hand but what you do is you just take a little you take a rag and you scoop some up and you just kinda do circles and massage it into the leather and where the seams are and stuff and it helps waterproof and it conditions and preserves them. So yeah, I do that about once a month because if you do it very frequently, frequently, um, it really softens up the leather because it's oil and that is not good for your leather. It makes them really soft and that means they won't last you as long, like the boot won't last you as long. I don't know, I just, it's not, it's, it's not good to oil your boots every time you use them. So yeah, that's probably it for my first YouTube video. 
thank you for watching and please subscribe to me.